is your frictions, which is like your cross fibre friction. So whereas your cross fibre friction was going against the muscle. Friction is like cross fibre friction on speed. So, so you do it in an area where you do have some spasming, just to over aggravate it in order to get the nerves to relax. So you can see how they relax now, and now it's not spasming as much. So that's where you use friction. So you wouldn't do it unless you did have spasm or something like that. Then we have deep direct pressure, which is when you might find a knot or something. So you can either do braced fingers, where you hold, you can do a thumb, you can do sort of the palm of your hand, and you're just gonna hold that spot until you feel the tissue relax underneath your hand. So if you're holding it for three minutes, then you're holding it for three minutes. So that's just a, and so the pressure's going down onto the body. Then we have our um, gliding and stretching. So with these ones, um, they're good for areas where the horse uh, might be spasming or fasciculating and it's too sore to do the other techniques. So the first thing you want to do is you want to sink into the tissue. So for about 30 seconds you just want to hold till the tissue relaxes underneath and you've sunk through. Then when it's relaxed you want to gently glide out the area really slowly. So slowly moving along. I'm moving so that you can see me moving but I'm actually I'm pushing all my pressure that way and my hand isn't going anywhere. So for me to get it to move, I'm actually having to lift it a bit. So in that case, you know, if that was the horse you were working on, just stay there. So similar to gliding, we also have stretching. So that's where you want, you can either do it across or like that. And you just want to sink the same. And then once you've sunk, you want to go apart. So same, it's really slowly, it's stretching the tissues out. So it might not look like I'm moving, but this hand is moving. So you're stretching it out. see as I've come that I have moved. Yep. So it's just really slow. Um, and it's just like, I think I had a massage where they do that to you, like on your shoulder blades. Oh, I did that to the kids. Yeah, it's oh, nice. Oh, the oh. And then the last one that people struggle with is your flicking. So first thing you want to do, so we only do this in areas where we find a spasm or some fasciculation. So you want to get your thumbs together across and first thing you want to do is two strokes and then a flick. So the two strokes is really important because that just preps the area. So two strokes first, flick. Um, you really only want to do it where you've got bone to rest on somewhere. If we do it in like nice glutes, you might break your thumbs. <laughs> so one, two. Yep. 